12, uh, 13,288. Four box break of Series 1. But I do appreciate that. As I said, and if any of you folks have honestly any any cool things you'd like to see with the checklist that maybe we're leaving out, by all means, let me know. I would love to be able to include some new stuff on that. Uh, in terms of Leon, oh, so generally Leon, I do not want to speak fully on it going forward, but generally it's two weeks beforehand they give us a checklist. Predominant of Tatar for the Habs, generally two weeks. Canvas of Bernier for the Red Wings. Well, that's a healthy start for the Rangers. Young Guns of Alexi Lafreniere. Actually, you know what I will do for you guys tonight? If you stay tuned after this, I'm going to do something cool for you guys. Uh, I will let you know something, but I will do something cool. We got a Ryan O'Reilly Dazzlers for the Blues. We've got a Martin Cott Young Guns for the Avalanche. You guys save it more fun to get them graded? Yep. Portrait of Patrick Kane for the Hawks. So, um, well, as I open this, I will explain a few things. Dazzlers Pink of Vasilevsky for the Tampa Bay Lightning. MNT. Um, we'll be lifting up the prices slightly. Not much. Obviously, I did talk to him about that. Lucas Carlson, Young Guns for the Hawks. So, I did ask if we could do a special on M&T gradings um, before that happens. Portrait of Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. We are allowed to do a special. It will not be as big as the previous ones, but it's still a special. So, I will recommend getting on that. Seth Jones for the Jackets. Uh, I will do that right after this break, so you can purchase it. Get Slav, Canvas. We literally got word from him this morning um, on my email. I know, I think it was Glenn who asked me last week. Zagadulin, Young Guns for the Calgary Flames. So if you guys want to purchase them, all you got to do is purchase them in the notes section. Put your user ID and we just keep them on file for you. McLeod, Young Guns for the Oilers. So... It'll help you guys out. Voracek for the Philadelphia Flyers canvas. You placed an order for what? We've got a predominant of Adam Fox. Or a rookie retrospective of Adam Fox for the Rangers. We've got... Which one's a French one? French variant for the Flyers. Travis Sanheim. So I will be doing a special right after I'm done this break. Um, and it will be the last one at that price, I can promise you guys. Worldwide of Pasternak. Because, uh, as of the price, they're only going to go up, like, I think a couple bucks, they said. So that's a good news. Portraits of Kachuk. Because I will tell you, the second they told me that prices might be going up, and uh, my first thought was, oh, God, they're going back at root. It's going to go up, like, 30 bucks a card. Bra Kiefer Bellows, Young Guns. Uh, I basically asked them if it was going up a lot, and they just said, I assure you... Most of them are only going up less than $5. So it's very minimal. Buchnevich for the Rangers. So I really appreciate them being aware of that. Sam Sonov for the Capitals. Debut dates. Clear cut base of JT Miller. You only use CNC. Woohoo! Thank you. So we always appreciate that people who are loyal to us. I, I honestly do. You guys do not know how nice it means. I don't even think that makes sense. But Tatar for the Habs worldwide. How nice it feels when I hear that. Portraits of Patch ready for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. So we have uh, we have bled as hard as we could for 12 years to build this brand up and make you guys proud. And we try our hardest. I know not everyone's going to like us. And it is what it is. But... I always appreciate that. So thank you guys. All right. We've got a predominant of Crosby for the Penguins. 
We've got a Dre Seidel canvas for the Oilers. We've got a Khrushchev Young Guns for the Hawks. Nice worldwide die cut of Tara Vinen for the Carolina Hurricanes. Tara Vinen. So with that being said, I also recommend if you guys are sending it in, uh, any greetings to either me or them, get them in uh, shortly. Crafts of Young Guns for the Rangers. Because what they also told me, I don't know, I did, they didn't tell me the date. Portraits of Vasilevsky. But they did say they're going to give several weeks, uh, basically like a week or two notice. So that way everyone can get their orders in. French Young Guns, oh, not French Young Guns, French variant of Backland for the Calgary Flames. Which I thought was actually really nice rather than just lifting it up and just telling people that's the new prices. Worldwide of Kucherov for the Tampa Lightning. So if you do have anything, obviously you can use us as a uh, pristine dealer drop off. Portraits of Makar for the Avalanche. You want to see my store in person? Sweet. Predominant of Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. Well, hopefully like in the summer or expos or I don't know, anytime. Connor Ingram, Young Guns for the Nashville Predators. Canvas of Sam Steele for the Anaheim Ducks. We've got a debut date for the Habs of Suzuki. Young Guns Canvas. Nick Robertson. Uh, Captain, here's a cool one. And again, they didn't want to tell me more on it. And it got my intrigue. Um, they basically said they were going to be introducing a new service that might be more affordable for people. So my, I think the only way they could possibly do that is either more quantity of cards you send in, Joseph Wool Young Guns, or a longer service, which I think both would be great. Dazzlers of Vasilevsky for the Tampa Bay Lightning. How does MNT measure up to PSA? Honestly, I think you'd be shocked of how good they sell this early already. Uh, Coglin Young Guns for the Golden Knights. I will tell you, I'm very picky with this kind of stuff, but I, I think they sell incredibly well. Portraits Rookies for the Ottawa Senators of Josh Norris. For how young they are, I think they're what, four years old? Portrait of Dubois for the Jackets. The biggest thing that everyone's always got to realize on that, though, is what are your overall costs? Liam Foodie, Young Guns for the Jackets. A lot of people forget that, like, getting one card graded by PSA, obviously if you're sending in directly, Kucherov, Tampa Bay Lightning Canvas, or Beckett could cost you 60, 70 bucks. If you send them in T, it might cost you 20, 30 bucks. Rookie retrospective of Suzuki for the Habs. So even if they sell, so to say 20, 30 lower than a Beckett, overall you're still making more money than you would have with Beckett. Tory Krug for the Boston Bruins. But I've had no problems getting premiums on almost all the cards I've ever sent in or sold for customers. Worldwide of McKinnon for the Avalanche. That's the biggest thing that I think people also forget. Is even if they don't sell as big as Beck at PSA all the time. Which I still would say a lot of the time to do. You're still getting double, triple, or quadruple the card value. So the investment purpose of it is absolutely ma amazing. And as Glenda said, you're not waiting seven months to get your card back. <laughs> That's awesome, Chris. Yeah, I, I'm kind of like that. I don't mind it. The only one that bothers me, Panarin Dazzler is pink for the Rangers. I'm not going to lie, having it in my display is PSA. I think it's because the holder does, does look completely different than Beckett and uh, MNT. Bowen Byram, Young Guns for the Avalanche. Portraits Rookies of Robertson for the Stars. And the honest other thing... Support Canadian company. Shane Bowers, Young Guns for the Avalanche. I feel like it's a pretty strong one too. We finally have a great Canadian company who's great grading Canadian company. 
Predominant of Patterson for the Canucks. And they have bent over backwards to make sure dealers are taken care of. Wierenski canvas for the Jackets. Any problem I've ever had, like either a mislabel with our customers, they fix it all the time. Lindstrom, Young Guns for the Red Wings. I can tell you, I used to deal with Beckett and PSA and I had so many issues I had to stop it because people would blame us for it. French variant of Lindholm for the Calgary Flames. So. Canvas of Latang for the Penguins. Debut dates for the Rangers of Shesterkin. Debut dates of Jack Hughes for the Devils. But the, you know what? The one thing I always love, the one thing I always love is when you hear stupid things like from people on stuff. Kucherov, Tampa Bay. And I know we had this conversation, I think like four weeks ago. That one guy who said that's a slab you could just open up with your hand. Alexiev, Young Guns for the Caps. Number one, you can break all slabs. How do you think companies cross uh, grade? They break open the slabs. Quinn Hughes canvas. And I can also tell you, I think all of them use the exact same sonic welding machines. Re rookie retrospective of Farabee for the Flyers. So if somehow, m miraculously, you know, their machine is just not as good as the other, but they all use the same ones as far as I knew. Dvorak for the Coyotes. Because I remember the one time I went by Beckett's booth at National and I saw their machines. And then I saw KSA had a smaller version of that at the Toronto show. It's all the same machine. Rookie retro, or no, worldwide of Aho for the Canes. Uh, I apologize, guys. I'm trying to catch up on the questions and do this. Jack Hughes for the Devils. Portraits. Dazzlers of Matthews for the Leafs. Joe Hansen, Young Guns for the Buffalo Sabres. Wow. Portraits of Zabinishad for the Rangers. The only thing is, honestly, B. Golden, is I, I feel like people do not uh, value that too, enough. McKinnon predominant for the Avalanche. Like, like what you just said there, I do not understand why. Sebastian Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes canvas. Like, how that doesn't get more love and, like, respect around the industry. And a Young Guns of Martin Cott for the Avalanche. How was the National... Uh, for hockey cards, it's extremely bare, David. And whenever I found people who had, uh, car like, hockey cards, their prices were pretty ridiculous, to be honest. They're so limited. That's, that's the honest thing, though, is... Like, you'd get the guys who are U.S. customers. And I'm not saying this rudely, but they're U.S. dealers who have hockey cards and they do have no idea of the values. Like, But I also feel like that goes the same here sometimes. And I've seen guys sell baseball, basketball, football cards way higher or lower than they're supposed to be. So I feel like just, that's... I, whenever I've gone there, I, I feel like there's a massive uh, difference between the two. Dazzlers, Kachuk, Calgary Flames. Like, there's one guy, for example... Um, he had a bin of hockey cards and you could get, get him Frank Coos Young Guns for the Avalanche. He had patch cards in there for 50 cents. There's another guy, Portraits, uh, Washington Capitals of Carlson, who had a Young Guns of Matthews for $900. It was a regular Young Guns, let me tell you. Debut dates of Kubalik. And it's like, he had no idea what it's worth. So it's like, you just, that's what it is. We've got a Young Guns checklist, which will be ran between Dallas and Toronto. Robertson, Robertson. Um, David, I would always say it's worth going to the National just to experience the National. Anything with the hobby that's as big as that, it's great just to experience it. See all the dealers, like the companies. It's honestly awesome. Young Guns of Robertson for the Dallas Stars. And if you ever do honestly go... Let me know what day you're going to be there. I will happily meet up and we can have a lunch or something. Or like at least have a hot dog or something. Derek, step on for the Coyotes. I love, uh, you know, meeting up with members down there. That's always great too. But yeah, I, I always think it's worth going and then kind of go from there. But if you're looking deliberately to buy, not really. Retrospective of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Portraits rookies of Velarde for the LA Kings. 
<laughs> Leon, yeah, imagine if they have a million dollar card. Soderstrom for the Coyotes Young Guns. The only thing is, Leon, it's funny though. I feel like a lot of Americans get really aggressive towards MNT. Matthews Canvas for the Leafs. They're still only four years old. For them to literally be as big as they are four years into this is amazing. Predominant of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Like, that is what blows my mind, is that they're viewed this highly, this quickly. Subban for the New Jersey Devils French variant. Uh, I will tell you, Ryan, I believe that Beckett and MNT are the two hardest graders by far in the industry. Kyle Connor for the Winnipeg Jets. Portraits of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. But with that being said, though, Ryan, I will also say I feel like MNT is probably the most accurate of the bunch. Kivaranta, Young Guns. And I feel like a lot of people give them a bad rep because they get low grades, but I feel like if it's the truth of a card, why not? And I, I, I would prefer that. I know it sucks getting back like eight fives or nines, but it's kind of that double-edged sword. Do you want an honest grade or do you want just a fictitious one? Nico Heischer for the Devils. And I do know and appreciate that a lot of people probably would be more than happy with a fictitious one. Worldwide of Tara Vinen for the Canes. Do I, I do not have any Tiger Woods rookies, no. Clear-cut foundations of Dre Seidel and Nurse. But the only thing I've honestly ever tried to kind of... And this is because of the, I started the business too, so I know how hard it is. But support a Canadian company. Help them grow. They're honestly doing great things. Peyton Krebs, Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Their service is awesome. You know... At least as a dealer for me, I, I've never had problems. Patterson Canucks. I can tell you that's a lot easier. When I've dealt with them uh, versus like Beckett, PSA, KSA. Rookie retrospective of Blackwood for the Devils. We've got a Bur Burakovsky for the Capitals. Canvas. And Evans, Young Guns for the Habs. There we go.